Hi everyone, I'm Jocelyn and I am grateful you're here. You're listening to the Starting With Gratitude podcast. This is a safe space intended to host meaningful conversations exploring all topics of the human experience. Every conversation starts with gratitude and remains rooted in gratitude. After you listen, make sure to join the community by subscribing and sharing. I am so happy you have joined us. Hello, my beautiful people, listeners, viewers. It's your girl, Jocelyn. And, you know, in this episode, we are going to have a little chat about something that I have recently been thinking about after I did an energy reading for this coming week as we have a new moon in Leo as well as the Lionsgate portal on the same day. I feel like a collective energy that we all share is one in which is calling us back to ourselves as we are all in the midst of transformation and transitioning and change, what is really taking place is that we are becoming more and more our most authentic selves. And truly, we are here experiencing this human life to discover our truest self. There's this book that I love so much called The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. It's by Deepak Chopra. And there's this excerpt that reads, there are three components to the law of Dharma. The first component says that each of us is here to discover our true self, to find out on our own that our true self is spiritual, that essentially we are spiritual beings that have taken manifestation in physical form. We're not human beings that have occasional spiritual experiences. It's the other way around. We're spiritual beings that have occasional human experiences. Each of us is here to discover our higher self or our spiritual self. That's the first fulfillment of the law of Dharma. And as I was thinking about what contributes to us really discovering our truest selves, our most authentic selves, is exploration. And that is what I want to briefly touch on with you in this episode. I am so, so grateful that I allow myself to explore, to explore my passions, to explore my ideas. There have been quite a handful of ideas that I've energetically mentally, physically, and even financially invested in that I later decided after having given it a try that it's just not meant for me or it just wasn't the right time or it wasn't as fulfilling as I thought that it would be or I simply just had a different vision for it. And even in those moments where it didn't turn out as I expected, where I made a mistake, where I quote unquote failed, I'm still so grateful that I allowed myself to try. I'm so grateful that I am so loving of myself that I believe in myself enough to explore and try new things and give my ideas a chance to live and to be given life. And every time someone has asked me, you know, how do you find your purpose? Like, how do I find my purpose in life? How do I know what I'm meant to do in this world? And 
I always, always have responded with those questions with exploring. How are you going to know what you love, what you're passionate about, what you are meant to do in this world if you're not out there exploring and trying new things? You're not going to discover your purpose by not trying by not allowing yourself to take on new experiences that ultimately teach you something about yourself, whether it's something that you really love or something that you actually don't love. You know, so many times, you know, given all the influences that we have in this world, we can think that we are passionate about something or that we really want to pursue something. But then when we actually go and do it, we realize that it's not for us. And there's no reason to be hard on yourself when that happens, because what's the gratitude in that? you have discovered that that's actually not meant for you. And knowing what it is that you don't want, knowing what it is that is not meant for you is just as important as knowing what you do want, what is meant for you. And y'all, to keep it real, we only live once. (laughs) I think that's something, you know, that we honestly need to remind ourselves of more often as cliche as YOLO may be or as uncomfortable as the topic of death might be for most people. It is the ultimate truth, you know, we only have this one life And there's so much to explore and try and learn and experience. Don't hold yourself back from living your life to the fullest, from exploring the possibilities, from putting in the intentional effort of finding out what your truest passions are and who the truest version of yourself is. And what I'm coming to find as I continue to journey on my life path is that we don't have just one purpose. We don't have just one pursuit that we're meant to go after for the rest of our lives. You know, when I was entering college and I had to pick a major, I remember just feeling so overwhelmed and confused because the thought of only doing one thing for the rest of my life just did not feel right to me. And the truth of the matter is, is that we ourselves are going to continue to evolve. We're going to continue to change. And it's inevitable that our passions evolve along with us. Our interests evolve, our priorities evolve, our perspectives on life evolves. And the exploration truly is never ending. Whenever I find myself in a season where I feel like I need more fulfillment in my life. I know that it is time to explore. And again, y'all, I'm just so sincerely grateful that I allow myself to explore and try new things and fail and make mistakes and learn because that's how I've come to know what I am not only passionate about, but who the most authentic version of myself is. And I am currently in that season of life, and I have been for probably like a year now, where I am realizing, okay, I'm a new version of myself. And I do have different priorities. And... I am getting to know myself and my purpose and my passions and what fulfills me, what excites me more and more as I continue to grow and change. 
And I have to accept that outgrowing past passions and fulfillments and dreams is a part of the life process, the growth process, the life journey. I am grateful that I have also eventually, you know, because there definitely was some resistance there in the beginning. Um, I'm so grateful that I ultimately have surrendered to that truth, that I have allowed myself to accept that as I change, so will my explorations, so will my pursuits and my passions. What I will say and what I can testify is that in the pursuit of finding oneself in being intentional with your explorations to discover your authentic self. Everything that it comes with is so worth it. So if you're listening to this and you have needed a little encouragement, you have needed some words of inspiration or enlightenment, I hope that this motivates you, that this inspires you to go out and explore, to go give new experiences a try, to invest in your ideas, even if you don't know if they're actually going to succeed. I really hope that we as a collective, as a human family, dismantle this construct of fear over failure because there's so much growth there. There's so much light there. There's so much awareness there. And it really does hold us back from returning home to ourselves. What it really comes down to is, are you afraid of discovering your true self? And if the answer is no, then go and explore Go and try new things. Go make mistakes and allow yourself. Love yourself and your ideas so much. Respect yourself and your ideas so much. Honor yourself and your ideas so much that you allow them to bring light to your path, to bring clarity to your answers to bring clarity to your questions and to lead you to your most authentic self. I hope that this little talk between you and I brought you some warmth. This is something that I really just wanted to briefly touch on and share with you all because like I mentioned, I myself am in and have been in the midst of exploration. I mean, here I am with my new podcast, still learning how to optimize it, still learning how to expand it, still learning how to balance this and the new pursuit of my YouTube channel and my online shop and just all this newness that I've allowed myself to really give a try. And I'm so grateful for that. And I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so much for tuning into this podcast. Thank you so much for supporting me for being here as I continue to make this the podcast of my dreams. I'm so excited for all the future episodes to come and all the amazing inspirational motivational guests that we will hear from and share space with. And if you really want to support this podcast and your girl, 
I ask that you please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. It's really easy to find. Just go ahead and go to the page of the podcast on Apple and scroll down and you'll see where you can leave five stars and a lovely comment on your thoughts on this podcast. It really helps so much. That's something that I am going to be prioritizing more is really getting y'all to send in some reviews and help me grow this podcast community. Thank you all so much. I am cheering you on in your explorations, in your growth, in your changes. And I am so excited for you to return home back to yourself again and again and again. See you in the next podcast episode next week. Much love, peace, and blessings. And with so much gratitude, bye y'all.